I thought I'd make a quick version of this one. This is one of the first times that I ever heard God speak to me and understood that it was God speaking. It's part of a bigger story in the story of how I met my husband, but I thought I'd make a quick version of it. So my prayer was, can you please take this guy out of my life? He's not really my boyfriend, but I don't, but I know he's not good for me. Can you help me to stop the relationship without doing it wrong? This particular time in my life, I was pretty young. I was just in my early twenties and I didn't want to hate somebody again. I felt like, um, there was this first guy that really liked me and I ended up hating him and it was just awful. And I, I tell that story and where I tell my testimony. So I really didn't want to do it wrong. I wanted to honor the Lord, but I also knew that this particular guy was not good for me. And it was, he was really emotionally entwined. Like I, he would call me every night and we would do lots of stuff and then he would disappear. And it was just, it turned out he also had a cocaine issue that I didn't know about. I thought that that was in the past. So he would disappear for months on end and then he would be back and just all of a sudden it was no explanation. So anyway, I prayed this prayer about the Lord taking him out of my life because I knew I just started to understand why somebody would marry um, someone that was maybe abusive. This guy was not abusive to me, but I understood at that time why somebody would marry somebody that was abusive. Um, just he made me feel really good about myself when I was around him. It was pretty selfish, but um, I really enjoyed it when he, the good times were great. The bad times were confusing and anyway, it was really crazy. So I prayed this prayer and very shortly afterwards, I don't remember the timeline on this one. I read in the Bible, he who began a good work in you will carry it out unto completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And that's in Philippians. And I read that and I just knew what it meant. I knew it meant God had begun a good work in this guy and it was God's work to carry it out into completion and it wasn't going to have anything to do with me. It was just weird. You read words in the Bible and sometimes they are great words, but they don't really speak into your life. And other times they do, they just jump out and I, and you know, like this is the verse for you. So I read that verse and it jumped out at me and I knew that that was talking about this guy, that God began the work in him and God didn't need my help to help this guy or to fix this guy or change this guy or anything to do with this guy. I knew that I was not to have anything to do with that work, that it was God's work. That night I went to hear some friends of mine who were missionaries. They were doing um, just like a dessert night and sharing with what, what they were doing at the time. And they sang a song and the song was, he who began a good work in you will carry it out into completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And it was the same verse. So I had read that verse. I knew what it meant. I knew it was for me. Then a couple hours later, I go to this um, night and they sing this song. And then I was just kind of like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a coincidence. And then I go out and I go to the foyer and they had these little, it's called Our Daily Bread. And it's really good for just a daily devotional, how to start reading your Bible every day. And it tells you, read this. And it says a little thing about it. So it's called Our Daily Bread. They're in a lot of churches. They're just usually free and you can take one. So I picked one up and I looked at that day. Guess what the verse was for that day? Yeah, he who began a good work in you will carry it out into completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And I was really shocked. I was just like, ah, but it got even crazier because I went out with that guy that night because I had already planned to. And he told me he was moving. And he actually moved out of the city and it was really crazy. I was totally blown away. I felt like I had prayed the guy out of the city. I'm also very thankful. And I just want to say this publicly. I'm very thankful because this guy knew that the relationship wasn't good. And he made it so that I couldn't contact him. It's more difficult, I'm sure, in this day and age. Those were the days before Facebook and before social media. Um, there was just email. But... 
I don't even think I had email at the time. This was this is way back in like the 90s. And so it made it easier for him to just kind of drop off. I still tried to find him after that. It's not like I did really well with this and I just trusted God completely. No, I still missed him and tried to find him after that. But do you know, I'm sure he purposely made it so that I could not contact him. And I'm so thankful for that. I think he just knew that I needed to be released from it. So that was great. That was crazy.